Hey YouTube, what is up? This is Spartan bringing you a Castle Clash video today. Yeah, yeah. So the iOS update has not come out yet, unfortunately. So no update video yet. <laughs> um, but I am doing a video today. Um, so today I'm going, I've had a lot of requests to do um, a video about crests actually. Like which crests are the best to use for different heroes and stuff like that. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing my video on today. Hopefully the uh, update will come out soon, either today or tomorrow. Um, if not, then IGG is stupid. Just kidding. <laughs> I really like this game, um, but sometimes it does take a long time for the iOS update to come out. So let's get right into this. So crests. What crests are the best for heroes? Well, I like to kind of put them into different categories. Um, so I like to have some a category called um, survival crests, which crests that improve survivability. So that includes stone skin, as you see right here, tenacity, bulwark, flame guard, revive, life drain, anything like that that is going to increase the chance that your hero is going to survive in battle. Whoa, that was actually a really good put sentence. Good job. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I kind of just like to put them into other groups. I don't really have a name for them, but like things that are going to increase like your damage or anything like that. Like some rare crests that I like to call actually rare are like life drain, revive, revitalize, anything that you can only get from a rare crest bag, stuff like that. Um, and just comes like, like some miscellaneous ones like scatter, heavy blow, self destructs, stuff that you don't always see a lot of are kind of like miscellaneous ones, sprint. Um, might be a survivability. I don't really know. Um, so what I was going at there is that most heroes, you're going to be fine putting a survivability talent on them. So that would be tenacity, stone skin, anything like that. They're probably fine with that. You don't really need to worry about it too much. But I'm just going to go over kind of quickly how, like, which heroes you're probably going to want different talents on. Um, so like Pumpkin Duke, um, Mostly you're probably going to have a Revitalize or a Berserk talent. I'm not really going to go over t like what talents you should have on them. I'm just going go to kind of go over what talents, I mean what uh, Crest talents are good with them. Um, so Pumpkin Duke, he doesn't have a ton of health, so you're probably going to want a Stone Skin instead of a Tenacity if you have that. Flame Guard is good on him. Um, of course, uh, Revive, a Revitalize, a Berserk talent if you have any of those uh, are going to be good on him. Anything to increase his survivability because you want him on the on the playing field for as long as possible. He is your MVP. Okay, Cupid. Um, if you don't already have a Revitalize, you sh if you have a Revitalize Crest, you should put that on her. Um, him. I don't know what you are, baby. Um, I Or any survivability talent, really. Cupid has pretty decent health, so she's fine with either Tenacity or, or Stone Skin. Ugh, can't talk today. Um, anything like that. Sprint, because she's kind of... It is kind of slower, so Sprint would be good on it. Uh, Druid is good with a any survivability. You want him on the field as long as you can as well, just to keep everyone alive. Uh, so Stone Skin, he has a pretty decent amount of health, just like Cupid, so Tenacity, Stone Skin, same thing. Um, whatever you want with that. Um, sprint is okay on him. He is a little bit slower, but he's not super slow, like Reaper or anything like that. Um, Berserk is good on him. Revive. Revive, Crest, I'm just going to say this, is probably one of the best uh, Crests to have on a hero unless they already have a Revive talent. Just because once they Revive, they're going to target, the enemies are going to target something else. So then your hero that Revive can, um, you know, get back to full health or just proc one more time or whatever. Um, Thunder God, very, very good with a uh, War God talent. If you do not already have a War God on him, War God Crests are very good with him. Um, Berserk, any survivability talent. He has a decent amount of HP, and so as always, like Tenacity and Stone Skin are basically the same thing on them. The only time you're going to want Tenacity over Stone Skin is if you have a tank like Paladin or Atlanticor or Orcsbane, because they will get a ton more survivability uh, percent, I guess is what I'll say, uh, instead of Stone Skin, because it's going to give them more HP and overall increase their survivability. Reaper, if you do not already have a sprint on him, definitely put a sprint talent on him or a sprint 
crest on him. Goodness, talent crest, whatever you want to call it. Um, he's good also with stone skin. Do not put a tenacity on him just because he has pretty low HP. Um, he's going to die pretty fast, so you want a stone skin on him. Or sprint, that works well too. And more tough, if you do not already have a war god on him, you want a war god talent. That is why I have a war god on him. He's pretty good, especially since he can hit a lot of targets at one time. So war god is good with him. Um, you Or he is very good with a, a tenacity talent. He has quite a bit of HP compared to other legendary heroes or stone skin or anything really that improves survivability, revive, anything like that. I know it's kind of repetitive, but really this is what like the best talents are for the... Um, for the uh, heroes. Orc Spain, as I said before, if you have a tank, which my Orc Spain is a tank, you want a, definitely a tenacity on him. It increases his HP by 15%, and he already has, I did the math, with my revive talent, so after he's all the way dead, like he can't revive, he's all the way dead, he has around 165,000 HP. That is with my 15% extra from the crest. So he has insane amounts of HP. That's why you put a tenacity crest on him, or you have a talent of tenacity on him. Very, very good with him. What the... Why don't my... Why does my Ares... Normally my Ares have, has a, a level 2 sprint, 2 of 5 sprint on him. I don't know why it's off, but go on there. So Ares, you're probably going to have a revitalize. Most people do. Um, you're going to want a sprint for Arena just to get him to the altar faster so he can proc before everyone else does. So higher level sprint on him is better. Also, he's good with survival talents. Um... Stone skin's probably better than Tenacity just because he is more of a damage hero. And then we're going into Spirit Mage. I have a Sprint on my Spirit Mage, and I have a Berserk Normal Talent. Not, I haven't really been trying to get a good talent on her right now. But I have a 1 of 5 Sprint just because she is actually slower than everyone else, even though she can fly. She is quite a bit slower. So I just have a Sprint on her. Also, Survival Talent is very good because she has such low HP. Stone skin is better than Tenacity just because she doesn't have a lot of health. Uh, revive is very good, anything like that. So yeah, guys, that's basically, I mean, I went over quite a bit of legendary heroes, like Paladin is good, going to be good with the survival talent, uh, tenacity, something like that. Um, Succubus, kind of same thing. You can put a little bit of damage or revitalize or life drain crest on or whatever you want. Atlantic Core is going to be good with uh, tenacity, talent, any survivability. So like I said, really, guys, it, it's not really like, oh, I need this one crest. This one crest will make everything better. No, most crests are basically the same, the base, like the basic ones, not the rare ones, but like Tenacity, Stone Skin, anything like that. Flame Guard are basically all the same. It's just that you kind of got to decide whether they have more HP or whether they will use Stone Skin better because they don't have a lot of HP. Also, one thing that I kind of want to go over is um, Slowdown Crests, actually. So Slowdown, what you want for these are you probably want a ranged hero. Um, ground walking heroes are okay as long as they're ranged and you might ask why do you want a slowdown crest well slowdown it doesn't really get good until you get to a higher level where you start doing HBMO or like HBM anything like that where the main boss starts coming at the end where you want to slow him down very very good for that so you can actually kill him also in Lost Realm um, it's very good just because uh, Lost Realm number 4 or not Lost Realm what the heck am I saying um, Storm Mesa 4, <laughs> where you have to switch between the bosses. If you have enough heroes on the ground that do that have a slowdown, you can actually freeze the boss in place so that he cannot move. I, I've seen this a couple times, too, but I don't have footage of it for you guys, because that'd be pretty cool. But slowdown does get really um, useful towards the end of the game. Um, heavy Blow, I actually don't see a lot of these crests anymore, or even talents to be... Um, be sad because like i don't know i don't know where they went i guess they're just, just not that useful anymore um heavy blow is really good on anyone really you want that stun off of it, even if it's just a little bit of chance self-destruct that's kind of fun to use put it on your pumpkin dude and go blow everything up um scatter also very good to use on a ranged hero or heroes that can do damage across the map so like spirit mage would be good with a scatter um Berserk, stuff like that. Bulwark also is a very good survival talent. I also forgot to mention that. Bulwark is good on anything because it's a survival talent, basically. Um, it increases damage and HP, so, you know, good for, like, a Mortep or Orcsbane, anything like that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, Cress, it's not really, like, a big puzzle. You just got to put them in there and see which ones work best. Um, so hopefully this helped you get you new people out, kind of determining whether... 
like which crests you want to use and which ones you want to keep. Mostly I sell my Flame Guard, my Blade Shell, my Scorch Crests, just because I don't really use them. Flame Guard is okay, you can keep those, but Blade Shell and Scorch are really useless, so please sell those <laughs> if you don't have any room. Um, so yeah, that, hopefully this guy, this guide helped you guys out. And this is Spartan, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and as always, this is Sparta. And I'm out.